Well, Thailand ranks with China as the world's uh, largest destination for illegal ivory. And the, the Thai ivory market is responsible for worked ivory products going all over the world. Thailand has seized over 10 tons of ivory coming from Africa since 2009. But if the ivory gets into the country and carved, it's freely sold with no interference. The Thai government is not going after its domestic ivory market, and this is driving the illegal killing of elephants in Africa like we've never seen before. We are at the highest levels of illicit ivory trade in 23 years. We are seeing more elephants killed in the tens of thousands now every year to support the ivory markets in China and in Thailand. Tourists going to Thailand are going to be enticed to buy ivory in many markets in many places. We've identified over a hundred shops in Bangkok selling ivory. Tourists can freely buy this ivory with no interference from government, stick it in their luggage and bring it home, usually without any, any penalties, any risk of detection. This is driving the Thai ivory market. It's really for foreign consumption. So it's very important that tourists realize before they go to Thailand that they will not buy ivory. And more importantly, they will not buy any souvenirs in shops that are selling ivory. It is illegal to transport worked ivory products around the world. It's illegal to bring them into Sweden without proper CITES permits. So anybody who buys ivory buys trouble. That ivory could be seized and confiscated when they come home to Sweden.